Shalom, this is the brother Dunya Allah coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Arakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Alright, Baha Hashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Baha Hashem in the name again. And Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit, all right, which uh, is the thing that makes us able to uh, understand these scriptures and break down these scriptures and teach the scriptures. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters that believe in this word and that fear in Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. And I uh, just wanted to do a video on, you know, the chastisement of the Lord. All right. The chastisement of the Lord, which um, is a good thing. You know, you get chastised by the Lord. It just shows that he, he deals with you as a son. And um, I just want to get right into the precepts. This is uh, Hebrews chapter 12. In verse 5 And ye have forgotten the exhortation Which speaketh unto you as unto children My son Despise not the chastening of the Lord Nor faint when thou art rebuked of him So When we get uh, chastened Which this could be in many different ways uh, It could be through uh, Getting rebuked by a brother You know harshly or you know um having getting put in really uh tough uh situations all right that are very uncomfortable or uh, even you know uh you know <laughs> bodily injuries that you survive okay these all can be considered uh chastisement you know all right, amongst other things, you know, um, I've, you know, I've experienced uh, uh, different, you know, bodily injuries uh, in my short time in the truth, you know, uh, as chastisement, you know, um, and, you know, not knowing exactly uh, why these different things happen to me, but. Uh, Understanding that it's the chastisement of the Lord, and you know, um, what which, which I'll, I'll get a uh, uh, precept real quick because some things the Lord will get will, will chastise you for that you um, you don't know because he may you don't know what's the reason for it because he he may uh be chastising you for something that you did in a past life you know um this is numbers chapter 14 verse 18 it says and yahweh by shimmy shai is long suffering and of great mercy forgiving iniquity and transgression and by no means clearing the guilty Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. So what does that mean? Uh, the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. Meaning that, hey, we are our forefathers. Okay. Our spirit, you know, comes back to the earth, you know, after we, uh, you know, uh, transition into the spiritual realm a spirit comes back to the earth every third or fourth generation right so the things that we got away or, or thought we got away with in one life the Lord can, gets us in the next so a hey, things that they things that happen to you where you won't understand why it's happening but uh, through the spirit and power Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Through the scriptures we know that hey, We're reincarnated And we can be 
you know, chastised for things that hap- that we did in, in a past life. You know, and that's why, you know, it's good to uh, pray for uh, mercy for the things that you've done against the Most High, not only in this life, but in a past life. Right? But nonetheless, chastisement is what, you know, the Lord does to discipline us. It says, um, Hebrews 12 and 6, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he, whom he receiveth. So when you come into this truth and you acknowledge the name of the Lord and that you're going to follow uh, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, hey, you catch hell. All right. You, you are afflicted. And that is a part of what? Your chastisement. Okay. Right. It says he scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Right. He scourges. So the Lord, you know, this is what the Lord does to uh, to discipline us. Right. To to uh, uh, to purge sin uh, out of us, man. You know, it says. If ye endure chastening, right? So if you endure the affliction, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. So the Most High is treating you as you his you are his own son. All right. And this is a hey, this is the definition of a tough love, right? Tough love. So the Lord is dealing with you. Uh, uh, as a son Alright And these afflictions that we go through These chastenings Alright Or the discipline of our heavenly father Right It says um, If you endure chastening The most high deal, dealeth with you As with sons For what son is he Whom the father chasteneth not but if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, so all that come to the Most High are partakers of that chastisement, then ye are bastards and not sons. So you're not considered a son if you're not afflicted in this truth, if you're not chastised. It says, Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us. So, like you. Was corrected us, and we gave them reverence, right? Respect. So we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live, right? So the Father of spirits is who? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? It says, uh, For they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit. So it's for our profit that we're chastised. Like I said, the Lord chastises us and afflict us, all right, to purge out sin. Okay? To make us to 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 to, to purify us. All right? When you deal with um gold and silver, you know, you you melt gold and silver down to uh to separate it. All right? Separate also, you know, make holy, all right, to separate it and purify it from the different other different uh, minerals that's in it, you know, the dross. Um, and that's what the Lord is doing with, you know, his men, you know, his elect. OK, it says. Right, it says, but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. All right, in order to be partakers of his holiness, what has to happen? The Lord has to make us holy, right? And that's that uh, process of purification, that affliction. It says, now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, after... Afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruits of righteousness 
unto them that are exercised thereby. So when we endure the chastening of the Lord, all right, hey, we we learn our lesson. Hey, we increase in in fear, all right, and we stop doing uh, the particular thing that He wants us to stop doing, you know, through the through our chastisement, you know. All right, it it, it it also increases us in, in in the fear of the Lord, man, because the Lord can you know he could chastise you uh, mildly or he could do it in a in a harsh manner, you know. Um, let me grab this right here. This is Psalms eighty six and verse eleven. It says, "Teach me thy way, O Lord; I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart." to fear thy name right which this is what we want man we want to uh we want to fear the name of the lord okay and the lord can use chastisement to increase you in fear of of yahweh all right you know this was this is a good prayer uh lord well i, I could do a hebrew lesson on that one Right, but also increases us in fear, right? Um, right, and we just got uh, what uh, numbers 14 and 18, which goes into uh, you know, reincarnation. Um, this is Micah 7 and 9. It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. So, hey, we have to bear the indignation of the Lord. The afflictions we go through, the different situations uh, that uh, come upon us, that happens to us out of nowhere. All right. The rebuke that we receive through the spirit and through the men of the Lord. OK, hey, we that that's the indignation, man. You know which you know, the rebuke is is is, is for correction. You know, to uh, correct us and, and, and to discipline us uh, to do better, right? But, a hey, the, the different, hey, the us being under the curses, man, that's the indignation of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? That we have to bear because we, we, we have sinned against the Most High, all right? We transgress His law. All right, and the Most High, He kept up His end of the bargain, but we didn't. So we have to, you know, bear His His indignation, man, endure His chastening. It says, "Until He plead my cause and execute judgment for me, He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold His righteousness." And the Lord has blessed us to see and behold His righteousness. Which is this truth. Alright. This word. You know. Even in our chastisement man. So call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for that. Um, and I wanted to get another precept here. We're going to get this one. It's a, lot, it's a little late at night as you can see. Um. Actually had to wait, wait for a minute for the spirit to hit me. This is the book of Sirach, chapter two, um, in verse one. It says, "My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So, prepare to be tested. Set thy heart aright." And constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart, depart not away that thou mayest be increased at the last end. Right? So, hey, we endure the affliction, all right? That furnace of affliction that the Most High uh, puts us in, the Lord will increase us at our last end. Right? And it may be different time periods or seasons of, of being afflicted right that that purges out a uh, 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 wickedness out of you 
So each affliction, you get uh, uh, stronger in the spirit, you know. You increase in uh, 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 righteousness, you know, obedience unto the Most High. It says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be thou patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Because the Lord can uh, humble you, man. All right. Humble you and make you... Uh, you know, uh, 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 sit still. You know, you may be uh, uh, focusing on too many things. You know, uh, uh, being distracted by too many things, to the point where the Lord has to do something to you to to sit you down. All right, to make you be still and to and to meditate upon Him and His Word. You know, uh, get this precept now that I mentioned that. This is Psalms chapter forty-six and verse ten. It says, be still and know that I am the most high, right? I am power. I will be exalted among the heathen and I will be exalted in the earth, right? So sometimes the Lord will chastise you to the point where he makes you sit still. He makes you stop what you were doing and meditate upon him. Meditate upon his word, the scriptures. All right. And, and examine yourself. Right. Back to uh, Book of Sirach. And here's the point I wanted to get. Verse five, it says, for gold is tried in the fire. An acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So the Lord puts us through these afflictions. All right. To, to try us. All right. To, to purify us unto righteousness. Okay. Believe in him. And he will help thee. Order thy way of right. And trust in him. Right. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe in him, and your reward shall not fail. Okay? So all these different things uh, in this truth we have to endure. Alright? It's not to destroy us. Alright? But it's to, to build us up. Right? But, hey, the Lord has to... When you uh, build a building... Or you add something new into the building. Okay. You have to destroy things. And then build it up again. Alright. To uh, edify that building. You know. Um, and. Interesting. Uh, fact. In uh, in Spanish. The word for. A, a building. Is uh, edificio. Which comes from. A word edificar. Which means to build. You know, so hey, when when we are getting edified through the videos, all right, our faith in the Most High, our knowledge, all right, and our fear is being edified, is being built up, all right, through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, of course, right. So, just wanted to do a quick video on that. Hey, we have to endure the chastisement of the Lord. You know, no matter how small or how big or how, how great it may be, you know, it's, it's for our benefit, you know, and hey, we should count it a joy that the Lord chastises us because that means that he deals with us as if we're his son, as a son, right? And that's, that's the love that the Lord shews unto his men, all right, that tough love. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.